Malaysia's national treasury is down $4.5 billion as a result of the 1MDB scandal. The investigation that followed brought down the government of former Prime Minister Najib Razak and he and his wife were arrested for their alleged involvement. Now, prosecutors are going after the institutions they say facilitated the scheme. The charges arise from the commission and abetment of false or misleading statements by all the accused in order to dishonestly misappropriate $2.7 billion from the proceeds of three bonds issued by the subsidiaries of 1MDB, which were arranged and underwritten by Goldman Sachs. They filed criminal charges against Goldman Sachs and four individuals, including two of the bank's former employees. Prosecutors want the bank to return $600 million it received in fees and they want to hold the bank liable for $2.7 billion in losses suffered by the state fund. The investment bank says it's done nothing wrong. We believe these charges are misdirected and we will vigorously defend them and look forward to the opportunity to present our case. The firm continues to cooperate with all authorities investigating these matters. But former Southeast Asia chairman Tim Leisner has already pleaded guilty in a U.S. court for conspiring to steal from 1MDB. In August, he told a judge Goldman's culture encourages executives to ignore laws to gain business. He's also among those being charged by Malaysian officials and his testimony could help them take Goldman to the bank. Mubin Nasir, TRT World. Well, for more on this, Claire Rucastle-Brown joins us now from London. She's the founder of the Sarawak Report, which broke the 1MDB scandal, and she's been following the story closely ever since. Welcome back to the program. So it seems Malaysian authorities are circling in on uh, Goldman Sachs over this uh, 1MDB scandal. Just how complicit do you think the bank is in all this? I think they're in very big trouble. I mean, they may be talking brave about how they're going to vigorously fight the case, but of course, the Malaysians are just uh, the third in a queue of prosecutions. Um, Abu Dhabi um, and the IPIC fund has already launched a civil action against uh, Goldman Sachs related to the same um, alleged misdeeds. And of course, as your report uh, pointed out, the um, DOJ uh, indictment that's now in the courts in the US specifically contain um, admissions by um, a, a Goldman Sachs senior banker who has pleaded guilty uh, that his colleagues were fully cognizant of um, the misdemeanors uh, that he was involved in, resulting in the theft of those uh, $2.7 billion. Um, so it's going to be a tough one. And um, this first criminal um, action against the actual bank will flush out yet more of what has been going on at 1MDB with Goldman Sachs. Mm. Specifically, Malaysian authorities say Goldman Sachs misled investors when it knew that uh, proceeds from the 1MDB bond sale would be misappropriated. But the bank says uh, that rogue employees were to blame for any wrongdoing. Do you think uh, Goldman Sachs uh, is properly shielded here from any li liability on the company's part by blaming certain employees? Well, I guess they were always going to blame this on a, 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 a bad apple or two, uh, as, as it stands at the moment. Um, there are two who are um, currently being indicted um, by the United States. Um, but we've already seen a very senior partner, uh, Andrea Bella, now also let go by the bank um, in relation to the scandal. Um, and um, it's, it's really very hard. I mean, um, for example, my little blog, I started... Uh, criticizing uh, the 1MDB deal and Goldman Sachs's astonishing involvement um, in these enormous bond deals uh, for which they were paid staggering and unusual sums of money. Um, and, and people like me were, were, were asking the bank um, how, how on earth they could possibly have earned such enormous commissions. Now, that was in 2013. Um, and here we are um, five years later with the bank really having failed uh, to look at what was staring them in the face um, and to scrutinize these deals. Instead, all the senior hierarchy of the bank were content to take very large bonuses indeed out of the 600 million um, in payments uh, that Goldman Sachs exacted from the three bond deals that are in question in this case. Um, 
and already you're seeing um, very senior figures um, being implicated um, in, in, in dangerous ways. Um, Lloyd Blankfein, who has just uh, resigned early uh, from the bank as the chief executive, um, has now been um, exposed as having met with Joe Lowe, um, Najib Razak's proxy in all of these um, dealings, um, secret proxy, um, whom the bank's uh, compliance people had already uh, sort of red alerted as, as an individual that the bank should not be having any dealings with. Um, so, you know, there, there's an awful lot of muck that's going to spread far and wide on this. Mm. Um, and um, the bank clearly did not act in the best interests of its clients in this case, which was uh, the Malaysian public and the fund 1MDB. Um, it, it charged far too much um, f compared to the market rate for these bonds. Mm. Um, there was an awful lot that was not told also to the buyers of the bonds, who are also cited as being equally victims um, in this case. Um, the buyers of the bonds were not told that 2.7 billion of the money that was being raised, the 6.5 billion that was being raised, was going to be channeled ostensibly uh, to the um, uh, to, to the payments of options and guarantees for the but to the Abar Abu Dhabi fund that was secretly backing this um, uh, this fund and as you've seen all those yachts um, and other expensive goodies were actually what were being bought by this misappropriated cash. Yes, and just quickly, Claire, before you go, Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamed is clearly determined to bring those responsible to account as, as well as recoup some of the hundreds of millions of dollars that uh, the Malaysian economy lost as a result of 1MDB. Do you think he'll be able to do that? Yes, Malaysia badly needs this money. Um, it's part of a massive theft, um, a range of thefts uh, that seem to have been undertaken by the previous administration, amounting to, to billions and billions. And it's created a, a huge headache and a huge hole in the Malaysian economy. So clearly, um, a, a good sitting target, frankly, like Goldman Sachs, a major bank who's clearly uh, misbehaved in this matter, um, is, is a very good um, target for, for the Malaysian government seeking to get some of that money back um, as soon as possible. So they'll definitely go after this case. Mm, and we'll see how, uh, one, uh, how Goldman Sachs responds to these latest charges uh, over the next few weeks. Claire Castle brown in London, thank you again for your time.